To fix up my column headers without having to resize the column, I can use the wrap text function, which enables me now to put that across multiple lines. Sometimes though it doesn't wrap it exactly the way we want to, and so to get the of onto the next line, I'd have to narrow this column. But in doing that, um, some of my content within that column um, will not be able to be displayed. And so I left it where it was to get the of to come down into the second line, I can put in a carriage return line feed by selecting where I want that break and pressing Alt and Enter. That there will break it exactly where I need it and irrespective of how wide the column is, it will always display it um, at a line break at that particular point, which is fantastic. Another place where we can use the Alt and Enter function is if we actually using Excel as a way to create a, a document which we potentially would normally use Word for. So here I've got a paragraph and I want to put a paragraph break at this point here. Now normally if I just press Enter in Word it would put a line break there. But in Excel we know it moves down to the next row. So if I go into the point where I want the carriage return line feed and press Alt and Enter again it gives me one line break, I press it a second time, I now have a gap between my two paragraphs and I'd be able to PDF that and it would look like I'd created it in Word. So a very useful feature for putting a line break within a single cell.